In this fourth installment of the PCC EHR overview video series, we'll look at how patient intake works with PCC EHR. Let's say I'm a nurse and I'm looking at today's schedule. Looking at the visit statuses, I can see that this patient is ready to be taken back to the exam room for intake. I'll get the patient, then update the visit status and room. Now I can double click on the patient to get started. As always, when I open the chart, I may see clinical alerts that are set to appear based on various diagnoses or flags. Watch our video on clinical alerts to get a full explanation of how you can use clinical alerts in your practice. At this point, I can review the patient's medical summary to see any relevant notes, medication history, and so forth. I can review any part of the patient's chart at this time, but for now I'm going to go directly to the chart note for today's visit. I click here to open it. Just like the medical summary above, the chart note expands to show me all of the components it contains. Each of these buttons will bring me directly to the corresponding section of the chart note, or I can always use the scroll bar to the right to scroll through the note. In our last video, we talked about how to use chart note protocols to configure different default chart notes for different kinds of visits. Today, we're looking at a sick visit chart note adapted from a Bright Futures protocol from the AAP. Your office may come up with its own protocols or use and adapt protocols already in place in PCC EHR. In this sick visit protocol, we see all of its components listed here. Since we're doing intake, I can click the intake button to go directly to that section of the chart note. Pebbles came in today with her mother complaining about a sore throat. As I take patient vitals, I can enter them here. Your practice can configure each of the vitals to use either English or metric measurement systems. You probably noticed that percentiles were calculated as I entered the data. These percentiles are generated using data on growth charts that PCC has included in the EHR from the World Health Organization, the CDC, the AAP, and even Fenton preterm growth charts. You can configure exactly which growth charts you want to display based on patient age, sex, and problemless diagnoses. Now, this set of vitals is designed to include only the vitals I want to collect for sick visits. If this was an infant well visit, I would see a field for head circumference. For a teen well visit, I wouldn't. If I want to enter any vitals that aren't set to display by default for a particular protocol, I can just click the More button to show or hide other vitals. If you need to take a second measurement of any vital, just click the plus sign on the right. PCC EHR will record as many sets of vitals data as you need per visit. Again, all of these units are configurable between English and metric. The default location and methods for taking temperature and blood pressure are also configurable. Okay, so I've done a brief intake. I'm going to go back to the top of the chart, the appointment details section, and change the visit status to ready prov, so the doctor knows that Pebbles is ready to see him.
So that concludes our quick walkthrough of how to do patient intake with PCC-EHR. We'll pick up here in our next video and see how the doctor uses PCC-EHR to conduct the exam.